Hello everyone, we are from True Maths and in this video we are going to solve this third question of exercise 8.1 and the question says show that if the diagonals of a quadrilateral bisect each other at right angle then it is a rhombus. Now you are given that there is a quadrilateral Let's say this is a quadrilateral. Quadrilateral is a four sided closed figure and it is given that the diagonals of this quadrilateral bisect each other at right angle. And what does that mean? If I name this quadrilateral A, B, C, D, let's say ABC is a quadrilateral and AC and db are two diagonals intersecting at point o and bisecting means this point the point of intersection divides these diagonal into two equal parts bisecting means dividing something into two equal parts means ao will be equals to oc and similarly this is also bisecting so OD will be equals to DO this point must also divide this diagonal into two equal parts so OD will be equals to OB so obviously this is given to you this is the first part which is given to you that the diagonal of a quadrilateral bisect each other and the second part is given that they bisect each other at right angle means these two lines when intersect the angle form between these two lines is equal to 90 degrees so all these four angles are given to you as 90 degrees and you have to prove that this is a rhombus and how a rhombus is formed rhombus is basically a four sided closed figure where all its four sides are equal means if I am able to prove that that AD is equal to DC means this side is equal to this side and DB is equal to AB means all sides are equal I have to prove this to prove I have to prove this all four sides of this quadrilateral are equal then this, this quadrilateral will be known as rhombus and this is given to you that these two sides are equal and the angle between these two diagonals are 90 degree now now how to prove that this side is equal to this side to do that what I have to do is I have to prove that this triangle AOD is congruent to triangle DOC now if these two triangles are congruent so by CPCT obviously this side will be equal to this side now let's prove it In triangle AOD and triangle DOC, these are the two triangles which we have to prove that these two are congruent. AOD is the first one and DOC is the second one. Now the first thing is AO of triangle AOD is given equals to OC of triangle DOC. This is given to you. This that AO is equal to OC and DO and DO is equal in both the triangles so obviously these two sides must be equal in both the triangles and angle AOD is equal to angle DOC now the second thing is Triangle DOA or AOD is equal to DOC because both are right angles means the value of both angles is equal to 90 degree this is again given to you now uh, this I already discussed in the previous video that if you want to prove uh, that two triangles are congruent there are certain things which you need to prove and one of them is RHS 
RHS means in two right angled triangles, if you want to prove that those two triangles are congruent, you need to use RHS property. And what does RHS property say? That if in two triangles, one right angle is equal, their a hypotenuse is equal, and their one side is equal, then those two triangles must be congruent. And similarly, there are other there are other properties by which you can prove two triangles as congruent, which I have already discussed in the previous video as well. The first thing is SSS, that is side side side. If you are able to prove that in a triangle all three sides are equal to all three sides of that another triangle, then those two triangles will be termed as congruent. The second thing is side angle side. Again, two side and one angle you have to prove in one triangle. Two side and one angle is equal to two side and one angle in the next triangle. And the third is angle angle side. So these are the four properties by which you can prove that two triangles are congruent. Now, here, this is only applicable in right angle triangles and these three properties can be applicable in any of the triangles. So, in this case, what I have, what I have done is, I have proved that this angle, sorry, this side is equal in both the triangles because this is common. This side of this triangle is equal to this side of this triangle which is given to you. Uh, this one, AO is equal to OC. And this angle of this triangle is equal to this angle of this triangle. That is both are 90 degree. So what I have done is I have proved that one side, one angle, and one side is equal to one side, one angle, and one side in both the triangles. These are equal. So by this property, that is side angle side, I can confirm that these two triangles must be congruent by side angle side property. Now, if these two triangles are congruent, we know that by CPCT, I can say that the remaining three parts must also be equal. And what are the remaining three parts? This angle, uh, though, sorry, this side will be equal to this side and the remaining two angles. This angle will be equal to this angle and this angle will be equal to this angle. So, I can say that AD will be equal to DC. So, this is our first equation by which we have proved that these two sides are equal. Similarly, in this triangle, in triangle AOB and triangle BOC, in both the triangles, you can confirm that this triangle and this triangle are congruent by the same property that is by side angle side and if these two triangles are congruent by CPCT I can say that AB will be equal to BC. So in the second case AB will be equal to BC. So this is our second equation. You can write similarly you can prove that the side AB is equal to BC and in the third case in this triangle that is ABO and triangle AOD in these two triangles also by the same thing that is by side 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 angle side you can confirm that this triangle is congruent to this triangle and if these two triangles are congruent so obviously this side must be equal to this side by CPCT so similarly Similarly, uh, you, you also have to mention in which triangle you are talking about. Similarly, in triangle, similarly in triangle that is ABO is congruent to triangle AOD. And by that, we can say that side AB is equal to side AD. This is our third equation. Now, here what we, uh, what we have proved that AD is equal to BC and AD is equal to AB. So obviously, if AD is equal to BC, 
and AD is equal to AB. So obviously AD will be equal to AB is equal to BC. And AB is equal to BC. So by all three uh, equations, what we have proved that AD is equal to DC. So AD is equal to DC. And, this, uh, and AD is equal to AB. So this equals to this. And this equals to this. And this equals to this by the second property. So by this we have proved that all four sides are equal. And if in a, if in a quadrilateral all sides are equal, then that quadrilateral is known as rhombus. So this is how you can prove uh, this third question. I hope you have understood how to solve this. Still, if you have any problem in math or if you are not able to understand the same question, you can directly ask us the question the phone number the email address and the whatsapp number is given below in the description thank you